Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see generation of generation or modulation modulation of SSB signals. Okay, what are the different modulation techniques to generate SSB signals? Okay, so if you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you subscribe and encourage me, I can do more videos like this. So generation of SSB signals. So basically there are two types. There are two types for generation of SSB signals. First is, so there are two types for generation of SSB signals. First is frequency discrimination method. Frequency discrimination method. Okay, so frequency discrimination method or it is also called filter method. Okay, so it is also called filter method. Okay, so it is also called filter method. So it is it uh, depends. So this method depends on frequency domain. Frequency domain representation frequency domain representation of SSB okay so it depends on frequency domain representation of SSB and second method is phase discrimination method phase discrimination phase discrimination method okay so this method depends on time domain representation Okay, so this method depends on time domain representation representation of SSB. Okay, so it depends on time domain representation of SSB and frequency discrimination method depends on frequency domain representation of SSB. Okay, these are the two important points which you have to remember. So we'll see the first case now frequency discrimination method frequency discrimination method okay right so the block diagram will be like this so you have the carrier signal here AC cos 2 pi FCT and M of T and this is your product modulator product modulator and then the output of this product modulator is passed through a band pause filter and you will get the output that's all okay so the output will be S of T of SSB signal right so when uh, m of t and ac cos 2 pi fct are given to product modulator so what does product modulator do it will multiply with the two input signals okay so the output of product modulator suppose if you take it as v1 an in intermediate output v1 so v1 is equal to m of t into ac cos 2 pi fct so m of t into ac cos 2 pi fct that is it is a dsbsc signal okay so the output of a product modulator is a dsbsc signal so double sideband suppressed carrier so now it consists of two sidebands okay so now it consists of two sidebands but in ssb we have only one sideband so that uh, that sideband which is not required is eliminated by this band pass filter that is why it is used here so if the frequency tuned is FC plus W okay so if the frequency tuned is FC plus W then it will select the upper sideband okay so it will select this upper side band and suppresses the and suppresses the lower side band in this case if the band pass filter is tuned to the usb frequency that is fc plus w and if it is tuned to fc minus w if it is tuned to fc minus w only lsb is transmitted by suppressing the 
upper side band by suppressing the upper side band only uh, usb is going to be transmitted so that the output of this frequency discrimination method will be ssb signal only so it depends on the frequency tuning of bandpass filter that is why i have told you it depends on frequency domain representation of ssb so in frequency domain also we have seen that ssb is obtained from dsb by suppressing one of the one of the sideband so that sideband is going to be suppressed by tuning the bandpass filter by correctly tuning the bandpass filter okay so by tuning correctly the bandpass filter either usb or lsb is being suppressed and only one of the sideband is passed thereby you are getting the single sideband at the output of this frequency discrimination method okay right next we will see the second method that is phase discrimination method phase discrimination method okay so how we can generate the ssb signal using phase discrimination method we are going to see enough so as i have told you it depends on time domain representation time domain representation of ssb okay time domain representation of ssb so what is time domain representation of ssb s of t of ssb is equal to ac by 2 m of t into cos 2 pi fc into t minus or plus this minus is for usb and plus is for lsb okay minus or plus ac by 2 into m cap of t into sine 2 pi fct so this this is the time domain representation of uh, ssb signal so this should be at the output of phase discrimination method then only we can say that ssb is signal is obtained at the output of this phase discrimination method so block diagram goes like this so here we are taking two product modulators or two product modulators so this is first product modulator which is product modulator one i am taking the other product modulator also i am taking so this is product modulator 2 okay product modulator 2 so for that we are giving for the first product modulator i am giving ac by 2 cos 2 pi fct that is ac cos 2 pi fct only i am dividing the amplitude by 2 because of this standard form so ac by 2 cos 2 pi fct is directly given to first product modulator and then it is shifted by 90 degrees it is passed through a 90 degrees phase shifter so when ac by 2 cos 2 pi fct is passed through 90 degrees so cos 2 pi fct 90 degrees phase shifted version is sin 2 pi fct so it becomes now ac by 2 sin 2 pi fct so that is the input here so that is the input here okay so the other input also m of t the other input is m of t is directly given to the product modulator one so m of t is directly given to the first product modulator directly okay so now it is passed through a 90 degrees phase shifter a 90 degrees phase shifter so when a band of frequency m of t is not a single frequency so m of t is a band of frequency so when it is passed through a 90 degrees phase shifter then it is called as that concept is called as hilbert transform ht okay so hilbert transform and 90 degrees phase shifted version of m of t is called as m cap of t okay where m cap of t represents the hilbert transform of m of t right so when it is passed through 90 degrees phase shifted version so the output is m cap of t and that serves as the other input for the second product modulator so product modulator 1 is given with ac by 2 into cos 2 pi fct and m of t and product modulator 2 is given with ac by 2 sin 2 pi fct into m cap of t okay so the output of these two product modulators are brought and given to a summer circuit 
are given to a summer circuit. So this is plus. If you take minus here, you will get USB as the output. If you take plus here, you will get LSB as the output. Okay. So if you subtract those two outputs of the product modulators, you will get USB. If you add those two, you will get LSB. Okay. So that will be the output S of T. S of T will get it as SSB signal. So the, if you take this as S1 of T and this two, this as S2 of T. So what is S1 of T? So what is S1 of T? So output of this product modulator. So output of the product modulator is the multiplication of the two input signals. One input signal is M of T and the second input signal is AC by 2 into cos 2 pi FCT. So we'll get AC by 2 into M of T into cos 2 pi FCT as the output of first product modulator. Okay. So multiplication of this and this signal. Now output of second product modulator S2 of T is given by so one input is M cap of T the second input is AC by 2 into sine 2 pi FCT so AC by 2 into M cap of T into sine 2 pi FCT okay so the final S of T is equal to if you subtract those two S1 of T minus S2 of T so it will be SSB signal with USB transmission if you take the negative sign between these two okay so that is why i have to kept here minus you will get usb term similarly if s of t is equal to s1 of t plus s2 of t then you will get an ssb signal with lsb being transmitted and usb being suppressed okay so this is how we are going to get an ssb signal at the output of this phase discrimination method so it again represents the time domain equation. Okay.